mahogany do the previously on? I don't wanna. <laughs> I just wanted to say I don't wanna. Um, previously on homebrew detritus. Superimposed noob. Superimposed noob over all over the rabbits killing um, each other. <laughs> Space. Oh, oh, oh. oh, having a lot of fun with your green screen there, bud. Oh. Easy, friend. You yes. don't need to drink all of it at once. We can make more, and you should definitely go slow, or your stomach will expel it. Mm. I've been living off my own urine for days. Air grills? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Which is a shame because I wanted to use this. You just wanted to smash me to jelly. Yeah, I know. You've been wanting to since this game started. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Those are big as hell. Um. Um, <laughs> in that little corner cubby hole there is a large cage. Um, and inside the cage, you see a mass of bodies. But the bodies seem to be swimming and swirling into each other. And every once in a while, little mouths will come out and say, Help us, please help us. We hunger. Uh, Where is this? Over here or over here? <laughs> I would like to cast exorcism. As you see this and your light comes over, for goodness sake, they begin squeezing their way through the bars and moving towards your party at an ever-increasing pace. Holy and shit. we'll roll initiative next week. What a bad So, welcome back to Homebrew Detritus. Um, welcome kinda, in a Homebrew Detritus. We kind of left off on a big nasty combat yeah. last episode, but before we get into it, um... Terrence has helped us branch out and meet some other people in the the same sort of business we're doing. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we've got some things lined up for that. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll be, um, we're sort of partnering uh, with our local rivals. I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> another local podcast that is in our local area. Yeah that um called fate awakens and uh if you want to check it out we encourage you to do their links are down below in the dice box mm -hmm. um and we'll be uh doing a player exchange uh crossover at a point in the near future so that's something to look forward to and uh, like i said go ahead give their show a try it's a little bit different than ours um but i, I think you <laughs> might like it it's got a lot Pretty more good. structure than ours does. Yes, a lot, 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 lot more structure, a lot less dick and fart jokes. But, you know, that can be fun, too. <laughs> and by more structure, you mean they built a structure that they can yeah, all game together yes, with in are, person? They're, which is, they're on a set, and it looks yeah. nice, and I'm fucking jealous. Their set is <laughs> it's a really cool yeah. set. <laughs> Yep. I, I bet like I it. could beat any of them in a fist fight, though. So I challenge I all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there you go. We, uh, Noob has laid down the gauntlet, Fate Awakens. <laughs> he will fight you all, uh, one at a time or all together. One at a time, one at a time. Let's keep oh, it okay, fair. all right, we're doing this 80s uh, martial arts movie style. Yes. One at a time. Yeah, yeah, take calling turns. you out. Everybody else is just in the corner like this. We like that new episode of um, of Falcon and the the Wolf, the Winter Soldier, or whatever you want to call him, They're fighting on top of some stuff, and you can see the people waiting their turn in the background. So fucking stupid. Yeah. yeah. Now, if if we if they do pick this gauntlet up, mm -hmm. uh, we are going to film it. Yes, and, and the true. winner gets yeah. a sandwich because everyone wants to watch a video of Noob getting his ass smashed. Yeah, it's <laughs> we'll go LARP rules to keep it nerdy. Oh yeah. no, it's just beanbags oh, thrown at each other. Three, three, fireball, uh, fireball, lightning bolt, yeah. lightning bolt. We, lightning we bolt. kind of have to keep Noob alive because we have a Patreon that uh, is paying money to give Noob IBS. So yeah, yeah. we got all kinds of intestinal yes. diseases to give him. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. new gauntlet, new gauntlet. We're gonna go with. Um, SCA rules. rules, yeah. Uh, the foam swords and just gonna beat the hell out of noob. Can can we also make a, a five foot square grid on like a football field or something? I've always wanted to do that, by the way. I, oh, <laughs> I have too. All right, Those so we're officially LARPers now. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to our new LARPing podcast, Homebrew. <laughs> 
LARP tried it. Uh, I shoot myself in the head because my experience with LARPing was so bad. If I ever went back to it, I swore I'd shoot myself in the You're head. Just... I knew somebody here had actually done it. You just have sex because the goth kids kicked you out of the Vampire Masquerade. I played Vampire the Masquerade. We did not LARP. Yeah. However, in my early high school years, I worked at a place called the Sword Castle, and we Ooh. sold swords, believe it or not. <laughs> and the guys that worked there told me about this company that they were a part of that would like, uh, they would sword fight and they would fence. And then they had this whole production that they would put on. And that sometimes people in their group would get hired as extras for things like Braveheart or you know all the, the the big war movies back in the, the fantasy war movies and stuff back in the day and i was like that sounds awesome i want to be a, a part of that so i filled out a bunch of paperwork which asked me things like what's my character's name and backstory and i was like i've played D before sure whatever this is just you know for, for shits and giggles i guess to kind of get a feel for who you are before you show up and i drove several hours out into the woods to this place <laughs> to discover that it was a big LARPing convention. <laughs> you got suckered into a LARP <laughs> and I had a fucking great time. Oh, I imagine. Was Honestly, fun. there was a queen and king and there was people wearing actual full suits of armor. But God, they were, f- I mean, I was a nerd, but God, they were fucking <laughs> nerdy. So even though I had a blast, I did not get involved or go back. <laughs> you know what? Right. See, you had a positive experience. I was at a baseball field in the dark, everyone sitting under on the picnic table under the um the the little overhead, you know, where you would hide from the rain. Pavilion. Yeah, thank you. Pavilion. And where everyone was wearing, you know, trench coats and long jackets and listening to KMFDM planning their next. I was, I was similarly, I found out about it and I was like, okay, I'll I'll go check out, see what this is. Because I, I played werewolf, not vampire, but, you know, I understood the rule set and all that, you know? Yeah. So. I went and they they would just huddle together in three different groups and whisper stuff back and forth and then send out a representative to another group and then they'd play rock, paper, scissors and then re-huddle in their group and that's <laughs> all they seemed to do for two hours so I never went back to uh, no. Well, you can't judge all LARPing on one really admittedly horribly lame experience. <laughs> well, when you make a promise, like, I'll shoot myself in the face before I go back to a LARP, when you're... Granted, I made that, that vow 25 years ago. So, I think the time has passed. I can give it another try. And the facial gunshots have healed nicely, so... <laughs> Let's LARP, my fuckers. <laughs> we LARPing or what? That's hunting. Oh my God. Dude, you're thinking of hunting. We're not hunting people. Yeah, Again. The most oh. dangerous game, LARP. Well, never that's mind. Live action role play. Yeah, that's the last thing you want to see at a furry convention. Um, <laughs> oh, that'd be yeah. great. That being um, said, though, I would, uh, if uh, if Franks would go as a Kage in Fox form, I'll I'll join you for a, a LARP event anywhere. I'll, I I'll am show not up building. For that. Do they call that a flarp? A flarp? <laughs> Furry live action <laughs> roleplay? Same thing. Flarp? <laughs> <laughs> if not, oh, they should. Hilarious. Yes, they should. Oh, you should, <laughs> I should dress up like a hunter and go to a furry convention. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I'm, I'm not building a fur suit. No, that, that's got to be. I mean, a fox. That's got to be very common. You, well, gotta Franks, have those on you don't need to build a fur suit. You just need to slather yourself in Elmer's and get a lot of like orange flocking and just flop around. Elmer's, not gorilla glue. We've <laughs> yeah. seen. We've right. seen what gorilla glue does. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Get well, one of those for, tails. Well, Franks, look under your seat <laughs> and you'll find your fur suit. 
What are you, pervert Oprah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fox costumes for everybody. Yay! Woo! Bunch of middle aged housewives. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I got bees. I got bees. <laughs> Oh, bees for everybody. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, a monster was about to attack me. And welcome back to the map. Oh, good God. Is it oh, a free action God to shit indeed. yourself? <laughs> it no, is. No. It's, it's a move. Well, it depends. It's is actually it, mandatory uh, for Noob to do that. You can so. do it. You can <laughs> <laughs> Patreon paid for it again. <laughs> you can do it as a move action. Yeah. Mm, I'll, I'll give it to you as a free. Half speed. Half speed. <laughs> All right, yeah, everybody. You, you got a clinch to try and stop it. Roll initiative. Shit pants shuffle. Oh, boy. The shit pants shuffle. Come on, mm. something good. Big money. Insert tension music. Roll Stupid. dice. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> that <laughs> yes, it did. Yes, it did. I got a six. I also Nim. rolled a six. I got a 12. <laughs> Noob. 17. Nice. Akage. 11 total. Razbad. Like the two others, I rolled a six, but there's a teen with it, so I got a little one. Sunday. I like your math. Three. <laughs> Dorian. Actual six. Actual six. <laughs> <laughs> and What'd Menacing Blob. There's your sneaky dice. <laughs> All right. So when you started talking about bodies in cages, I really thought that uh, old Tarek there was a slaver. Oh, yeah, I thought, same. I, I thought we were just walking into the mind strip club inexplicably. Just <laughs> I just want everybody to think about. And all that time you put into your backstory, into your <laughs> character arc, and the expedition episode, well, thank exposition, ex the expounding episode. I made a new character episode. this week, just, just in case. Cool. Um, it's time. Razbad, you were the first to go. You can hear what? the sounds of terror from your companions up ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> With my 90 feet of dark vision, do I have a clear line of clear enough line of sight to be able to see what this thing is? You do not. Because there's walls in between you and that creature. Alright, well then I will And there's light in the room. You don't need dark vision. There's just literally there's yeah, I, yeah. I just wanted to make sure all the facts were out there. Um, I'm gonna move to, oh, let me pull my Suddenly, Mr. I run up and hit it doesn't want to run up and hit it. No, oh, hunt. That makes the strongest 40, character. 40 feet of movement will put me there next to Dorian. <laughs> and uh, what is this thing? What knowledge do I need to roll? Dungeoneering. Dungeoneering. Plus nine, I rolled a 20. Mm. I wasted a 20 on a knowledge check. Nat 20? Uh, nat 20. Okay. Um, you quickly recognize this thing as being a hungry flesh. Ooh. Um, the I, description I like from that. the book is a quivering pile of tumorous flesh. This creature leaves a trail of slime as it hungrily searches for sustenance. Nope, um, I don't like that. With Ew. your nat 20, you know that these things are normally created in a laboratory by an alchemist researching methods of regenerating human flesh. A hungry flesh is a freakish creature made of aggressive, malignant tissue. It lives only to feed and grow and must consume large amounts of plant and animal matter to sustain itself. Each day, a hungry flesh must consume its own weight and food. Oh. A hungry flesh resists attempts to cut or pierce it quickly repairing the damage and creating new fleshy growths. Oh no. Um so yeah, the so and if it feeds fashion. on people, it can um it can actually grow bigger. It's an ooze. Um it is it has blind sight. That's what it sounds like. It has blind sight. <laughs> um 
It has diseases in its attacks uh, because it's an ooze. It's immune to critical hits, flanking, paralysis, poison, polymorph, precision damage, sleep, stunning. Um, and yeah, if if by cutting or slashing into this creature or piercing this creature can actually cause it to grow bigger. Um, not to say that the damage doesn't go through, but uh, opening up the tumors allows it to expand <sighs> further. Um, I don't like any of this. Yeah, None these things this. are fucking gross, and I love it. Um, so there, the that's thing. Yeah, that's and this is straight out of the book. Uh, for those interested, this comes from Bestiary Four. Don't look it up until after you're dead. Elemental uh, resistances or weaknesses? Nope. None. No. Uh, bludgeoning damage. Yes. I call out to the group. I will pull. Uh, my heavy flail from my back and knowing what Akagi's weapons are I will call to him and throw him my heavy flail I hope you can use this and throw it to him because it is an extra bludgeoning weapon that I carry Akagi watches it soar past him and clank on the ground because I cannot use that (laughs) it's better to take the minuses from unproficiency than damage this thing with your weapon. Kevin, didn't you learn from earlier uh, exchanges and sharing of weapons that, that doesn't work? Hey, I have extra weapons. It's the only <laughs> reason I'm tossing it to him. It's not my father's glaive <laughs> that I'm handing <laughs> off to someone. Okay, that, that'll be your turn, though, Kevin. Uh, yes, that's yeah. that was my intention. Is That's my turn. Uh, so, so Grasbad spills the oh, beans Swift, on this thing. Sorry. Go ahead. Swift action, activated judgment of uh, protection. Okay. My turn. I'm on. Uh, I will. I will actually say to the group, fall back, and I would like to move. I would say fall back and then move twenty feet back and back to where everybody else is at. I have a plan. <laughs> All, all I wanted to say is, you know who could probably use that better than me? Dorian. What was it? A two-handed oh. uh, heavy flail. No. <laughs> I'm not proficient with martial weapons. I moved 20 yeah. feet, Toker. Yeah, that's... Is that 20? Okay, okay, five, sorry. 10, 50. Well, no, you could go back one more. Yeah, one more would be nice. And then... Uh, moving back and... And then I will ready or not ready spell. I will activate my death blessing, turning me, giving me undead bonuses, and making my flesh look all sticky and nasty. Okay, uh, that's a throwback. I yeah, haven't done it in a while. This is a good time though. Not since the last time Akaki gave his glaive away. <laughs> <laughs> Nim, here, hold this, Chris uh... Zombie. Hearing all the screams and shouts, I'll start casting a summon spell. Okay. <laughs> a bite, a bite, a bite attack is bludgeoning and piercing, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. but it counts as both. So oh, the bonuses no. that it gets from being pierced would be triggered by the bite. What? It doesn't. It's, it's, it's bludgeoning or piercing, right? No, it's both. It counts as both. Yeah. So it basically gets double negatives on that, but it could have double positives if something's weak to that, right? No, it counts as bludgeoning or piercing for the for the benefit of bypassing damage reduction. It counts as both. Okay. But so if you do extra damage from piercing, both. it counts as piercing. If you do half damage from bludgeoning and I don't know, it's, it's a lot to take in, but it, it counts as both. <laughs> All right. I think uh, it's pretty much going to be a meat shield. Okay. Yeah. Okie dokie. Dorian, this mm. hungry flesh moves up to you. Oh, boy. Mm. 19 to hit your flat footed. Oh. Flat footed, I believe, yeah. Yeah. Wait, you can't be caught flat-footed. You're a rogue, right? I'm a... Level four rogue. Third level rogue. Yeah. (laughs) 
All right, so minimum damage of five. Groovy. Hey. Give me a fortitude save. Damn. Oh. There it is. Let's see, fortitude plus six, uh, 19. Okay. And hmm, there's a 28 beat your CMT. Yeah. You are grappled. Uh-huh. As uh, this mass of tumors and body parts reaches out and snags uh, into. Uh, we'll say it grabs a hold of your leg, um, squeezing and dealing you that damage. But that is its go. Akage. Um, Akage is going to... I know where that muffled sound you were talking about is coming from. Over my mouth? You are this? talking You're talking through your mouth, or through your hand. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you may be right. <clears throat> so Akage is going to move... 10 feet. I am not going to use the heavy flail. I'm sorry, Razbad, but I would not hit Where between are you the minuses. To? I'm, I'm trying to get my stamp out. No. Oh. Moving to here. Okay. Climbing up on that little rock. Ooh, yes. Ooh, okay. is that high ground? Does that give me a bonus? Not against this big creature. Fair enough. But yeah, you are up on a rock. And is it a called? St- well, first off, I will activate my challenge against okay. this thing. Um, and is it a called shot to hit the tendril that is grappling Dorian? Mm. Well, I don't think you can do it. Called shots are a full round action. I have no idea. So I'll just attack it. Yeah. We haven't used those a lot, but yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. full round action. It'll call shot. And then if you want to do it later, we'll look into the, um, what happens. Yeah. Trying to wield a weapon I'm familiar with and trying to do damage with it. It won't make any sense. So Six, 16 on the die. So a 26 to hit. That'll hit. Um, where's my D10? Because my weapon is also a D10. But it's a plus 12 to the damage. So that's 9 plus 12, 22. 21. Okay. As I hop up on the rock, issue a challenge in the form of some haiku that I haven't written in a while and swing down with my glaive trying to sever the the tendril that's grappling Dorian. You slice into it. As you slice into it, it's like the the big blob dude at the end of Akira. It just starts growing more muscle mass and, and body and pustules and yeah. <clears throat> did it seem like it did damage though? Yeah, I mean, you cut into it. Okay. Um, Dorian. Uh, I'm going to attempt to make a escape artist check to get out of the scrapple. Whoop. Um, I don't think uh, 11 gets it. <laughs> 11 does not get it. Let's see. What kind of, what kind of action is that? S- standard action. Okay. Um, uh, shit. Um, yeah, that's it then. Okay. Uh, Sonder. Um, I forget in the the knowledge check that he did if we found out if it was evil or not. That's what he said. Yeah, they are, um, not evil. Okay. What uh, type of creature is it? It's an ooze. Which is an aberration? No, it's an ooze. Okay, ooze is its type? Yeah. Okay. They are neutral. This thing just feeds. Gotcha. All right, so I am going to... Um, so I can't really... I don't really want to get too close to that thing. So I think everyone is within 50 feet of me, but do you have to... Do you have to be able to see them? 
Yeah, you might need to five foot step to hit uh, a kage and well, just a kage. Because it's a it's a fifty foot burst centered around centered on the caster. Does that mean that they that I have to be able to see them or something? Yeah, I think because the bursts normally don't go through walls and stuff. Okay, well then, yeah, give me the five foot step, please, so that I can get everybody and then I am going to cast bless which gives everybody a plus one to attack rolls and saving throws against fear effects nice that's all of our allies how long does that last that lasts for five minutes oh nice so everyone gets a plus two to hit because Akage has challenged this thing and Saunders bless as long as I am threatening it, y'all get a bonus from me. And that is the end of the first turn, Razbad. Um, my question, at the end of the track, that's a wall, correct? No, that's more uh tunnel or cliff. No, I'm saying right here. Oh, that's the board, that- yeah. That's that's uh some lumber that's left piled up there. Uh, acro- uh, acrobatics to get over it, or sure, yeah. I mean, the other side of it is nothing. Well, I want to try and take run along this path and come this way to end up here. It can't be flanked either. Oh, well. <laughs> Never m- <laughs> Thank yeah. you for that point of info. Um, I'm going to activate uh, my Bane ability, Bane Oozes, okay. and swing at this thing. Cool. And that is 13 plus 2 for the Bane, and then 7 for the weapon, so 22. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. And what weapon are you using? I'm using my Warhammer. So bludgeoning damage. And uh, with the Bane, I get a total of 9, 12, plus 4, 16 damage. All right. You bash into this thing, dealing significant damage. Kill it. That does not die. Damn it. Come on. There goes that plan. Uh, move me up 20 feet. And give me a fort save. I mean, you knew. No, what I didn't realize is I didn't know the stuff back there. I thought that was a wall, not more edge. Back to where you were then? Yeah. And then give me a fort save. It's probably a fail. Uh, 12. It is a fail. On your turn, you will be, uh... This thing doesn't have any type of fast healing, right? It just kind of regenerates flesh? Yeah, it has regenerate. Is that magical healing, or is that something? No. Sorry. Okay, then, uh, on the start of your turn, you take T6 of bleed, and on my turn, I take T6 of bleed, and as long as that's going on... Uh, you take D6 bleed on your turn. Okay, cool. And then I get my uh, poison ability. I take four points of bleed damage. It's a shame we don't have someone who could go large and shove this thing off the edge. Sorry, I did not tell you, Kevin. It, you did know with that nat 20, it has regeneration. So you'll need fire or acid to permanently put it down. I, I tell that is- to Sonder to hold one fire till it falls so that we can assure it's Okay, dead. that's what yeah. I was going to ask. I was like, does that mean yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we need to, when, once it goes down, we hit it with fire to ensure it's death. Heard. If it goes down. <laughs> so that's when? On his, down when? So Amon, that's on its turn. It'll take the bleed and you'll take the bleed? Okay. I, I take my bleed on my turn and you take your bleed on your turn. So how much bleed did you take? Four. Okay. And then I'll, I'll roll for you, or do you want to take the same amount of bleed? I'll let you roll. All right. Well, that's my or turn. I'll, or I'll let you choose if you want to take the same amount as the, the monster does. 
Nice. Just make yeah. that call. We'll, when you make that call, we'll stick to it, though. Yeah, we'll make it. I'll wait till uh, I'll wait till it's turn to take the damage, then we'll roll it. Then. Okay. Cool. Um, effect. Nim, what creature am I summoning for you? My wolf. Because I've only got that's the last one I have. So the wolf is going to appear where the red heart is, and then move there beside the creature and attack and miss. I mean, you don't. You don't have a. Um, Tell me what that so was to hit. hit. I rolled a two, so that was um, <laughs> uh, a six plus the one from Akage, so that's a seven. Seven total. That's seven. Okay. No, yeah, that is a miss. Because I didn't get the. I would have had eight, but I didn't get the. I didn't get the bless from. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sonder because she wasn't there yet. Yeah, it's what? AC is eight. Oh, Why didn't you get the bless? Fuck you. The wolf because, didn't get the bless. Oh, because wolf. it wasn't here yet. Yeah. Okay, got you. So you're oh, telling me nice. you couldn't summon a celestial sledgehammer hands? Uh, and then a celestial me and then there. I'm not done. I'm trying to be quick on this. Uh, move me there, Failing. and then I'm going to cast Grease on Dorian, so he gets a plus 10 to his escape artist and his CMD <laughs> to be grappled. Make him Ooh. slick. Yep. Oh, he slimed He's me. Pop right out of the, <laughs> pop right out of the ooze like a right. bar of soap. Daddy Nim's secret sauce. <laughs> that's that's no. fucking awful. I like that almost as little as I like the monster we're fighting. <laughs> well, the environment has affected me. Is that the end of your turn there, bud? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't little, 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 little bud, little friend. All right. Yeah, good, good, good turn. Good turn. Um, <laughs> it would have been faster if everybody wasn't harassing you. I appreciate your effort. <laughs> uh, uh, Rasband, take your, your, your token down. Nobody needs to see where you were trying to make your past mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> your failures hey, taunt you. I was trying to flank an unflankable creature. Yep, stupid. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you done. So it is the bad guys go. Kevin just started playing this game, so it's okay. We both it will. take four bleed damage. We both take four. Okay. Sounds good. And that is just straight up bleed, so nothing else weird happens. However, he does regenerate some health. Magical uh, healing ends the spell. It's not magical. Okay, just a heads up. Yeah, he, he just he regenerates. <laughs> just his uh, fast growing tumors. Yeah, his fast growing tumors. Yeah, he will automatically constrict Dorian. Oh. oh. For seven damage. Shouldn't, he, shouldn't Dorian just like squeeze out of his hand like a bar of soap since he's all? <laughs> well, he's not trying to. He's not trying to pin me, so he didn't have to make a grapple check. Uh, it's just. just I'm already grabbing him, so it's just damage. And then he will use uh, a slam attack against either the wolf or Rasbad. Uh, I will roll evens or odds. It is I Rasbad. Yay! Come at me, bro. <laughs> rolling to confirm. Oh, no. <laughs> no, we don't oh, roll oh, to oh, confirm oh. anymore. Yep, just you should have flanked, Kevin, sometimes. you dumbass. <laughs> I think he successfully came at you, bro. Yeah, a 20 on the die says, I came at you, bro. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> Only a 55 on the, the percentile. So right in the middle, I'm just going to stick with the oh, double damage. Percentiles. I thought he was going to go damage. Like, it's fuck? only mostly devastating. <laughs> only 55 damage. Only That's 55 it. damage. Roll, you know, roll a fortitude save for the uh, <laughs> massive damage. You do need to roll a fortitude save. Oh, God. Shut up. <sighs> Let's see. I rolled a 19. You're fine. Plus six, so 25. 15 damage. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Out. You are not diseased. Uh, a, a 26 will, however, grapple you, though. Mm. He can grapple multiple creatures? Yes, he can. It's a ooze. <laughs> He's got Dang. all the arm blobs he needs. Y'all, I have wasted all my grease, all my liberating command on y'all's. Sticky oh, ass. Oozes are dirty. Papers. 
Quick, Razvan, rub me upon you. <laughs> yeah. You got all them There's a lot of grease cards. there. It's dripping off of you. I'm just dripping here. Uh, I, I make help. I make my own gravy apparently. <laughs> and I, I mean, this is the third time that Raz Mikage. has been grappled in this dungeon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the sticky dwarven dungeon. Everything so sticky. Mm -hmm. AKA your mama. This? Akage. Oh, the stickiest yes. Oh, it's barbecue. my turn. That's what you're saying my name for. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. thought you were going to say something was happening to me. Yeah, it's your turn. <laughs> um, Akage is going to begin to fight defensively as he sees this shit go down. And then I'm going to use my aid another ability to assist to give Rasbad a plus three to his skill check. Hopefully that will help him roll an escape artist to get away. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, 16 on the die plus seven. That's a, yeah, I only needed a 10 to hit. So 23 beats that. Yep. So Rasbad will get a plus three to his next skill check that he rolls. Good luck. Okay. I think I gave him a plus 10 last session and it didn't work. So. It did not. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's worth something. It's Anything worth else? Worth a shot. Um, nope, that's it. I'm going to hold my ground. Dorian, you are successfully greased. Okay. My turn? Yep. All right. So I got a 36 to escape with the grease. You are <laughs> yeah. escaped. Okay. I pop out and I move back. One, two. <clears throat> Stay greased. How long does grease last? Minutes, minutes, minutes. It's a long oh, time. Slimy all over. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it lasts, but he, it's five minutes, but he can, it tend to a CMD too. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll back up uh, to the wall. To the window. Where? Uh, next to, next to Amon. I will take that attack of opportunity. Sure. Oh, no. Eighteen, miss. Okay. Ah. That is your go, Sonder. Alrighty then. So I'm gonna use my last uh, touch of flames from the distance for the day. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no! We need to say I have I have burning hands for that. There it is. Um. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Where she did it go? She knows she's about, son. Where did it I go? Don't. Where did it go? Where did it go? So that's 18. 18 will hit. Woo. Woohoo, woohoo. That is D6 plus two. So that is seven points of damage. Seven Fire and, damage. And his regeneration is turned off for this round. Nice. Now is when we need the crits. Can't crit it. I can't think you can crit it. <laughs> now is when we need the Just to hit it a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. Raz bad. I am going to cast uh, Burst Bonds. So I need a Fortitude save. This is the one you did last time, so if it doesn't yeah. provoke... So if that's a 17 or an 11, 17, 23. Right, so. Yeah, he should save, so nothing happens. Mm. But can you still attempt your escape artist check? No, because that's a standard action as well. Like if he had failed, I think you get to attempt as part of the, the spell going off, but the spell didn't okay. go off. I feel like that spell should be a will save instead of a fortitude save because, like, things that grapple you are probably going to have a pretty good fort save. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Well, it's meant for if you're wearing handcuffs, you get uh burst or tied up with a rope, you can easily burst right. out of a rope. Okay, 
Yeah, the, the rope fort saves just really aren't that great. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was clever. Suck a dick, everybody. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I, 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 I thought you were going to elaborate or something. No, that yeah. was the joke. Ropes don't have a fort save. Forts. We've not looked Oops. up the fort save. Oh, okay. oh, I think you do get a fort save, just inherently, buddy. I thought right. you know oh. some like rogue fort special saves. Pathfinder lore, uh, ro rope lore. <laughs> I was you... trying to think of the hardness of rope. I don't know. Could you move me to the right of Dorian, please? Mm, yes. and, then I'm, and then I'm going to whip it. Okay. Do it. Make sure you do that good. <laughs> I need it to not roll a one. I have a plus I'm, eight. Come on, roll roll correct one. that whip. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> rolling, oh. rolling percentiles. Why? You're, you're going to get sucked up like a spaghetti noodle. Uh, 49. So that's under half. We'll just say I'm buying a Wanda greased. You didn't. You didn't. You just missed. Okay. That was just a miss. <laughs> um, you know, you wanted to suck it up like a spaghetti noodle. What I was thinking about doing, if it was over fifty, is that like the hit just does one damage, but that turns its regeneration on when it takes slashing or piercing damage. <laughs> so he would have successfully healed four hit points. Well, I would still have my acid on. Oh no! You yeah, fumbled. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You do do acid. Yeah, that was the, that was the plan, but I yeah. rolled a one. All I needed was to not roll a one. Yeah, yeah but you well, did. So shit. We will move but on did, to Blanche. Nim's turn. All right, the wolf will attack, and he got a uh, fourteen this time. Roll that a 10. will hit. And did six plus four, so did a total of ten damage. Okay. And. Try to trip it, but that didn't work. Unless it's no. CMD, it's a six. No. I right. uh, think they're immune then, to tripping. You can't, can't trip and ooze. Blob. I can try. You can definitely try and fail. Um, move me and move Nim there. I think that's fit. No, wait a minute. Move me there. I'm sorry. They're one of those. I don't want to be in 15 feet of that. I don't know what the reach is. But I'll learn my lesson. Yeah, move me there. And I need a reflex save from the creature. Okay. I'm assuming it's probably low, right? It's negative two. <laughs> so I got a two. All right, you missed it. So he is uh, stuck to the floor. He cannot move. You know, with a uh, spit, a huge glob of just disgusting crap at him, and it splatters all over him and sticks him to the floor with a piece of spittle. Fucking disgusting. Mm -hmm. Hmm. He hawks up a loogie, spits it in a slime, and Ew. it somehow sticks it to the floor. Yeah, that's Ew. weird. While casting grease on Dorian. If he's a slime, him to... being, a, being a slime is different than uh, being sticky. He's not sticky like the adhesor, adherers are. Yes, well, anything about that being a resistance thing. You stuck, you stuck it in place. That's fine. Oh, it's a magical land, I guess. So. Um, <laughs> Razbad, you are still a fucking uh, fox fighting with us. You are still grappled, so it will constrict damage you. You take one point of bleed, loser. I take one point of bleed. Uh, I do not regenerate any hit points this turn because I took fire damage this round. So just a straight up one point of bleed then. Um, Raz, bad. You take nine damage. Oof. The wolf will take an attack from its there free slam attack. That's a twenty-one to hit. That hits. The wolf will take uh, seven damage. Okay. And it is uh, twenty-seven to grapple. Uh, it is, is that CMD? Mm -hmm. yeah, That's what, yes. Yeah, that yeah, it's grappled. So the wolf is grappled. Now, this thing has this weird rule mm. set when it hits, and when it gets sliced open, it gets what is called monstrous growth points. Um, 
whenever it hits and deals damage or takes slashing or piercing damage, it gets one growth point. This thing has done that successfully or been hit successfully at least five times. So we add on. Well, it's only been hit. I mean, Razband's using the Warhammer. You've hit it twice. I hit it once. You hit it once. And then it's been hit it once. Wolf Wolf hit it once. And it's hit three times. Five. Okay. Uh, (laughs) Hey, and I'm sorry, I keep, but can just shift me there whenever I forget to do that at the end of my turn. No. (laughs) I get a. I was using swift. I've just tried to rush because y'all keep hurrying me. I'm Uh, shifting there. You had plenty of. You didn't say you want to do anything until I said this thing gets something happens. So you're gonna stay right where you're at. Oh, that's (laughs) bullshit. I'm taking as much time as I want now. Have you not? <laughs> the monster drops oh. Rasband and the wolf and attacks the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say bold tactic there, Matt. Bold tactic. Let's see, where's the? What's Let's the thing see how called? it works out for him, Cotton. Uh, this is gonna hurt so bad. <laughs> Question there, Rasband. That heavy flail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a standard heavy flail. It's not masterwork. It's Ooh, not hand. magical. Nope. Oof. Jesus oh, no. fucking fuck. It goes from large to huge. Well, shut my mouth. Uh, probably easier to hit now, right? Yeah, no, actually. Unless you roll a one. <laughs> it's AC went up by one whole point. Really? Yeah. Cool. I don't cool. like that. Touch AC went down, if that makes you feel better. Is that some more of the Ken Holmes work? Kim Holmes work? Yeah. That's really cool artwork. I hate it. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it, and I hate his face, but it's nice work. Oh, it's a big bloody mess. <laughs> to my boy. To my boy. Anyhow, that's the end of its go. Because it's done enough damage and been damaged enough for it to grow from growth points. So Rita Repulsor threw her staff from this her space station. And... Akage. Okie dokie. Um, Akage is going to see that happen. Um... Good drop news, his, you're adjacent. Drop his glaive and uh, take a five foot step back to retrieve the heavy flail. That's not where it was. Where was it then? Where Dorian was, standing, right? Well, I was standing where Dorian was standing, and Razbed said he threw it, and I said I watched it sail past me. It's your call. Wherever you want it to be, that's it's where... It's definitely not in that square behind you. Well, I was going to say it was in um, Amon Square, but... Then I will acrobatics over to where it was. Okay, give me an acrobatics. That is a nine on the die which is a 16 acrobatics. It's CMD is 16. Meter beat. So you're good. Yeah. Okay, I thought that meant he still got to hit me. All right, cool. Meter beat means you, you meter beat it. I meter beat it, all right. Yeah. I thought it, I, <laughs> all right, anyway. Yeah, you were the attacker in that situation. So you well. acrobatics yeah, through Dorian Square grabbing the uh, and I will now I will drop the glaive and pick up the file. Okay. Yeah. And that will be the end of your turn. Yes, yes it will. Dorian. Just so you know there is no reach on that. Yes. Um uh, I really have nothing I can do against this guy besides I don't even <laughs> shit. Um I will tumble towards where Nim is. Well, you have the poison on the bolt. 
yes, it's piercing, but it's You poison. also said it's immune to poison. <laughs> no, it that turns off its regeneration, right? From regeneration my knowledge to, check. No. That acid, acid or fire. Oh, okay. Not <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Uh all right. Uh so yeah, I'm gonna tumble to uh where um right next to Nim. I have a Where's my acrobatic score? I'm stupid. Can't find things. Uh, there you go. I got a 20. Um, give me a perception check. Uh, sure. Uh, 19. As large as this thing is, it does not seem to have gained any reach. Oh, okay. So, well, then I will just move to where Yeah. Uh, Nim is. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to unsling my bag and start digging around. Uh, pulling out a rope. Okay. And for my standard action, I'm going to secure it to anything that looks sturdy. Okay. That uh, the th- thing that the saw blade is mounted to yeah, seems incredibly sturdy. All right. Okay. Something that will bear my weight easily and not move is what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. It's very, not- very heavy. It's, it's, right. it's made stationary enough to where it can saw through logs. Okay. Um, that's it. I'm out. I'm out of actions. Okay. Uh, Sonder. So just clarifying, um, this thing does not have reach. So it if does I'm... not. Uh, uh, Nim noticed. Uh, but yeah, okay. you guys can all notice that it's, it's, it seems to still only have a five foot reach. Nice. So I'd like to move right here, please. And. Uh, I'm gonna do a burning hands and I'm gonna angle it. My first five feet is here, so hopefully I don't hit anybody. Okay. Um, so what is that? A. I think I, I got a reflex. A, yeah, reflex for half. Uh, failed. A reflex Lovely. is worse than it was before I was bigger. Just have to <laughs> gather up my D4s. Three up. Uh, However, I got the same reflex of two. Oh, yeah? Last time I rolled a four at negative two. This time I rolled a five at negative three. Let's see. Um, A bunch of twos. Two, four, six, eight. That's ten points of damage. Fire. Ten points of fire damage, and you turn his regeneration off for another round. Who do we appreciate? Sonder. (laughs) It's shaking back, and I helped. Um, I'm really at a loss. I don't know if I want to try and another, my last first level spell break out, or if I, because I can't attack with my hammer. It needs to be a light weapon to attack while grappling, correct? Right. Mm-hmm. One handed. Light or one handed. Oh, mm. okay. Well, no, a I think it needs to be light, to be one-handed. one-handed light weapon. Yeah, I thought it was or. Yeah. No, uh-huh. no. I think it, I re- seem to remember it's a light one-handed weapon. So, I guess I'm gonna save it for a much-needed healing, and I will now. Uh, attempt an escape artist at my minus one. So, does a seven beat it? It is light or one handed weapon at yeah. a minus two to hit. No, oh, okay. yeah, it is. Okay, well, the d20 was still an eight. Well, eight at. I'm a normally a seven with my Warhammer, so um, plus five, 13 hit. Do you fall asleep when it's not your turn? I've said it's AC is like <laughs> below 10, three times. No, that's why, that's why I just used the same roll and made sure. <laughs> yeah, you hit. I he haven't heard that once. <laughs> 
<laughs> I am going to keep, I'm going to use a round of the Bane and do ha! Of 16 <laughs> points of damage bludgeoning. <laughs> <laughs> a walloping blow from Razbad, who is uh, still grappled but managing to do damage to this thing. We will move on to uh, Amon. I don't know if this thing is evil or not, but I'm assuming it's, it's not. not. Oh. They're neutral. <laughs> Nobody covered, listens. And we've covered that as as much as we've covered the AC. Was said once. <laughs> oh heck. I rolled not a one. <laughs> so I do a D eight plus uh D six. It's AC uh, went up now. Did you roll a two? No, I rolled a nineteen. Well that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh so that's twelve plus four, so sixteen points of damage, and five of that was acid damage. Okay, so it's regen is still off. You guys are barreling through this thing. It's still standing. Barreling well, it's still through? I don't know. Molding. Molding. Uh, Nim. All right, so um, quick question. Can I? Can the wolf perform a natural attack while it's scrambled? Yes. Fuck. It's at a minus two, though. Fuck. <laughs> so what? it missed. Uh, it rolled a one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, it bites its own say, mouth off somehow. <laughs> hope you'd say no. All right, so the wolf manages to bite into a part that's not harmful to the creature, but it does deal damage to the creature, uh, but just enough for the creature to heal itself a little bit. Does bludgeoning damage and piercing with them teeth. <laughs> but it doesn't hurt itself no you need to summon oh. only blunt teeth cr- creatures like celestial cows or yeah. uh, have you ever been bit by a cow that shit hurts does <laughs> Nim do anything horse before. it does hurt Nim is uh, I, I have another question so if it's uh, to cast defensively I'm just trying because I just looked it up there's like two different versions of it but if I move up Five feet, can I touch Razbad? Yeah. In other words, if I'm I can I can touch him and then cast defensively it's fifteen plus double the spell level. I'll you help you also, out here. You could ask hold on. You can cast now and then move up and touch Razbad. Um yeah, you, hold the, you hold the charge in your hand until you actually use it. Oh oh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to touch. Okay, so I, so I can cast now. I'm five foot step up and touch, touch Razbad. Razbad, and I will use my phase step spell to move him um, beside Amon. Sweet. Right so I can see that, and then I will Sweet use my shift up. ability to move to the right of the buzzsaw. Like to that little space. That's a wall, right? You have to draw me something. I'm just, sorry. Your description's not great. Is that a wall? That's a mon cart. Um. All right, so I'll just move here then. I'll shift to there. That's is that ten feet? Five, mm-hmm. ten. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I'll sh- use my swift action to shift to there, and that's my go. Okay. Loser. What's that ruffling noise? Your papers. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm using paper. <laughs> What's paper? <laughs> it's what you do when you have a oh. pen and paper and play a game. Never so seen it before. You're never seen it before. Your life. It's paper. That way, I don't have to keep switching screens. I can stay focused. So, Mon, you hit him. Razbad, you hit him. It constricted Razbad. It constricted the wolf. Right. Also, uh, what's her fate? Or uh, Sonder hit him too. Maybe she hit him with fire. Nice, no, with the shot. Noob hit him with acid. And Razbad hit him with um, bludgeoning Blood. damage. 
I also did the mama. That's the one. No, no, I also do slicing and acid. Yeah, he whipped him, so it's acid and. But that Flash. was only the only one who hit him with a slashing. Was a mon. And it did damage to two people. Okay. And you did hear the five bleed damage. Yeah. And the wolf, I guess, because it you said it did piercing. That's right? what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. The oh, the wolf. That's the one. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was. That was because you ruled it did piercing on its So that's bubble. four. So now it's going to constrict the wolf for nine damage. Still up. Which gives him five more growth points total. So I can add another. Uh, oh, shit. Y'all, Matt, you, you need, need to, to you need uh, release the your wolf. Let this thing just what? Send your wolf home. It oh, it's feeding off of your wolf. Only help it. Dude, that wolf yeah. is Don't saving Don't tell him how to play his character. Right <laughs> yeah, I just saved your ass. It's like for the fourth time in this dungeon. <laughs> we could just keep making it bigger until it can't leave. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, it has to eat its own weight and food every day. We could just leave here and come back tomorrow, and it'll be dead. <sighs> We just need to leave and let it. It can't sustain itself at this size. Now it's got options for people to hit. Lordy, lordy. It uh, what, move. everyone? At least for a while. It can't even get out the door. Um, no, it's uh, it's, so when it constrict damage, that gave it that gave it an increase in size again. So now it can attack. Uh, just about everybody. Yeah, but that's its turn, yeah, right? Yeah, pretty much. When it grew? Yeah. yeah. It constricted and grew, so... Also... The last time, that was its turn. Mm -hmm. When it grew the last time. It's gonna attack somebody. Get <laughs> How many actions does it get? Jesus. The constrict is automatic. That's not an attack. It just happens when it's holding something. Mm -hmm. So it hasn't attacked yet. And growing, doubling your size is a standard Shut action. Shut up! <laughs> I am going to kill you for real! <laughs> Not Nim, Matt. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I rolled. Oh. Dorian and uh, Razbad roll off. Oh. Damn it. That's like making them walk to their own execution. Six. Four. <laughs> Dorian it is. Oh. He's greased, though. Still greased. Yeah, so maybe I won't grapple you, but at 18 on the die, I will probably hit. Because he's at a... Oh, no. But his damage went up. Damn. So that's a 26 to hit. Oh. Yep. That'll do it. Give me a fort save. Stop. Uh, 25. Not diseased. Twenty-two damage. Twenty-two damage. Oh. Still up. Um, okay. Uh, I only got a 19 to grapple. Sorry, mm -hmm. 23 to grapple. But you're still greased? Yep. Yeah, plus 10 to your CMD. So does that grapple you at 23? No. No, okay. Ooh, this is getting tense. Kage. I don't even have to move to hit it, do I? No, it is right next to you. Or, yeah, basically right next to you. Okay. Got a big, heavy flail. I'm going to swing it. Oh, that might not even hit. Wait, did its AC go up when it grew? A little bit. 11? That is its AC. <laughs> Very nice. 
Uh, that's an eight on the die for 16 damage to it. Non-piercing, mm. non-slashing, smackaroonie. All right. It's still up. I expected as much. Okay. Story is me. I uh, really, I really need a 20 right now. See if I yeah. can shrink it back down. Yeah. But you can't crit it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't crit it. Oh. Is it I, a crit I, or is it a natural 20? On a crit. On a crit. Damn. Hmm. This this seems like the exact thing you'd want to smush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the magic of the hammer that makes things smaller. I'd probably let you shrink it. If you happen okay. to roll a crit on it. Yeah. Oh, natural 20. Gonna... Come on. Way my 20, nights are 20. working tonight. Oh, yeah. It won't be. Uh, Dorian is going to run to the edge of the cliff. Um, that will provoke. Okay. It's probably going to hit you. Uh... 20 on the die. 20? 20 uh, modified, I mean. 20 total. Uh -oh. Okay, so let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, that will hit me, but I'm going to cast Windy Escape. Like an immediate or something? Yes, it, it is. is. Cool, cool. What does that do? It uh, mitigates damage. Let's see. Windy Escape gives me... <laughs> Sorry, DR10 magic. Oh, you need it. Because that would have been uh, 20 damage again, so instead I guess it's 10. 10? Oh, well. All right. Oh, uh, also while I was... Never mind. Never mind. And, didn't say it, so it did. and the grapple. Okay. Well, I'm down. Oh, well, then you're grappled. Okay. You're down? Mm-hmm. Damn it. Oh, but, uh, no. uh, side note, I'm ra I did wrap the. Yeah, I was hoping to see what it was you were about to do. But the dice didn't want you to, I guess. Who will? Okay. Uh, Sonder. Hmm. <laughs> so. Uh... I can't five foot step, right? Because Akage is right there. Right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Rolling the cast defensively. That is a uh, nineteen, so I do. Okay. Um. So I will require a reflex save <laughs> okay and <sighs> oh it's an 18 on the die for a total of 15 all right so you get half because you just got it damn it one two three four five nice four eight ten sixteen so that's eight points of fire damage all right, so eight damage, and its regeneration is turned off again this turn. It's making strange noises, but it is still this giant mob of it's mean, hungry flesh. Who? Oh. That's bad. I am using another round of Bane, and I am swinging with all my might into the blob um hitting <laughs> I had to do math I rolled a, a seven had to make sure you have at least a plus four yes And damage with Bane. Ooh, 11 off the Bane, and I rolled an 8 on the dice. So 19 plus 4 is 23 points of 
bludgeoning damage as I Murder. swing as hard as I can. You're not sure what it is that finally gave in this mass of bodies and gore, but this final blow does it. And it just spills all of its contents, like the outside of it deflates like a balloon, like a water balloon popping. It just pus and gore slide across the room. Everybody give me a fortitude save. Wait, before I do that, can I use a, uh, wait, what's it? Is it something you can do not on your turn? Yes, it's immediate action. Okay. Stone shield, can I put a stone shield up to kind of block a good chunk of it? Uh, sure. S- Let me read the actual spell. I think it gives me a plus two to fort saves. I think it gives you a plus two to reflex saves. Yeah, to reflex. Is this a poison or disease? This is a disease. This is you just being coated with the disease. Oh, then I get a plus two to that as well. Anyway, because of my undead thing. Okay. Cool. Um, Akage is going to burn a use of his resolve as an immediate action to roll twice to take the better result on his fortitude save. <laughs> Razbad just rolling dice got a 21. I got a Razbad. 27. Noob. Okay. Oh, no, Sonder, 22. Sorry. Um, I rolled an 11 and a 12, so 16. Okay. Dorian? Uh, 21. And Nim? I rolled an 18 on All the right. dice. So I got a 23. Nice! Yeah, the 18. You, you all seem fine. I didn't even know they had that side. <laughs> I don't like the way you said. you said that. Yeah, <laughs> you seem fine. You all seem fine. So as the, this creature <laughs> finally's bubble is bursted and the room fills with gore like the two elevators opening and shining, you turn I to see... Be- Shut up, Kevin! <laughs> Sorry. Not me. That was not Matt. Was... You, you turn around you to see that not only is Dorian down and unconscious, but the dwarf you rescued is nowhere to be seen. We'll figure out what happens next week on Homebrew Detritus. I burn the thing. No. Oh. Is his regeneration already off or do I need to burn him again? It's already his off, right? His regeneration's off, yeah. Good. Well, so I don't mean, have to you burn. Like a- you got like a full damn minute to fucking heal me, so you know, don't just sit around. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, wait, definitely. what were you so at? That's negative what I was trying to say. Is I immediately was running the door. Uh, I, oh wait, 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 no, it isn't a minute. Uh, let's see, I negative wise, uh, let's see, minus ten, twenty, uh, uh, minus four. Okay, so yeah. So even if you fail a heal check, somebody can get to you and heal you. I have we eight rounds to, left. Yeah, we didn't need to stay in initiative for that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the end of that combat. A big nasty creature. I love that monster. I hate that, that monster. Fun. That's cool. That was fun. So it has a no, thing. I'm, I'm just gonna run away from it. I'm not gonna bother with it. Yeah. <laughs> so it has a thing where it has regeneration five, right? Which y'all were turning off. But um, it also has something called reactive generation. So every time you hit it with a piercing or slashing damage, yeah. it regenerated five hit points immediately. Then. Ooh, That's sure. what you said when you when you told us about it the first time. Yeah, and then the monstrous growth makes it to where it can get all the way up to gargantuan, <laughs> which is oh what it was gosh. at when you killed it. Gargantuan. Yeah. Yeah. I think if it kept Playing staying alive, ball. we would have just had to leave and let it come back tomorrow, and it should have been. Well, if, if you're wondering what I was trying, I was going to try and lure it over the side of the cliff. Ah, <laughs> that would have been <laughs> it fun. Move, though, but it couldn't move rounds. because of Nim. Yeah, yeah, it was stuck. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was. That's why I, was, I figured I would let it be y'all's choice to get close to it. That's why Dude. I was diving into the like how many people did hit because the only way it was going to be able to hit something besides that wolf is when it got bigger. I mean, and it did. It made, it I feel like I made it very clear that, that but... all I had left was burning hands, and everyone was like, "Let's just stand in front of her. That way, she can <laughs> burn us up with her burning hands." Oh. Well, mm. if I'm not mistaken. Originally, the thing squeezed out of barred cages. Yeah. So it could have squeezed ar- around and gotten out. Possibly. My plan was to I have a spell called Bone Shaker, it lets me move things five feet. 
I was gonna get it to come through the hallway and then just push it off the edge. But it doesn't have bones. It's made of flesh and bodies. I'm assuming there's some bones in it. Yeah, I probably would have looked that thing. So it's got that the yeah, cool. it's of its makeup, it. I would that would work. But the reason yeah. it came through those bars is because it can move through areas one fourth normal space without squeezing and it can squeeze at one eighth its size. So while it was still in those bars, yeah. it could basically just <laughs> through it. It's the, yeah, it's it would, one it's eighth the, would have been, you know, if it's five foot, that means if it was 40 foot wide, it could squeeze to a five foot space. Yeah. If it did acid damage, it would be the, the blob from the movie, basically. Yeah. Yeah. It could have come after us for sure. We had to kill we it. We did That's it, though. All it was oh, I, I didn't want to leave it alive. I was just trying to think of an escape sketch strategy. Um, Nim would have mourned you all. Mm -hmm. Whew, so that was fun for me at least yeah i enjoyed it it was, was fun that nobody died in the making oh, of no, this I, was in, I was in the kevin position this week of not being able to do much yeah oh let's uh let's uh let's call it let's let our people know that they just need to check the old dice box below for links and check out fate awakens and um yeah Check them out. We'll uh, see you on the flippity flop. Look at our Patreon, dude. <laughs> hey, wait! Don't forget to mention our um, our Twitch streams now. Oh yeah, yeah. We're fucking, we're live. doing live. What uh, what every other week now? Yeah, mm -hmm. we're playing uh, the for Second Throne live every other week. Yeah. Or, so or the next week. one is. Yeah, uh, for Second Throne, and we'll probably also be doing one, occasional one shots uh, over the Twitch too. Yeah, if you talk to that other yeah. guy that, that has the YouTube show about doing the one shot still. Yeah, yeah, I have. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out what we want to do. Yeah, so we've got, other, we've got other fingers in other people's pots. Yeah, because we mm -hmm. like fingers in the pots. But, uh, <laughs> so stay tuned next, for all that stuff. The yeah, next we're gonna Twitch be doing stream the... is Wednesday, uh, April 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, this will, this will air after that, won't it? No, this will air that week. No, um, or will it? Oh, no. this is the second one. Oh, oh yeah, so never mind. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for joining oh. us last week. Oh. So two weeks after the 14th is mm -hmm. when the next live thing will happen, and then you'll see that on this episode. The 14th, the 28th. I don't know. I'm the bad 12th. at math. Mm -hmm. I don't know the Gregorian calendar. Don't forget to pay your taxes last Wednesday. No, oh, Jesus Christ. I oh, got to the middle of, of, started, right? got to the middle of May. Yeah. They extended them. I just yeah. got mine paid. I'm not paying mine. I ain't getting my money until it's the last day. I always put it off so I don't fucking spend it. <laughs> it's fast. We're talking about taxes, so I'm going to hey, stop bye. recording. Hey, bye. Good night, everybody. Bye, bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>